Hi everyone, and welcome back to Vincent, Henri, and Art with Miss C. I hope you've enjoyed our other videos and learning and creating with us. Today's lesson is inspired by the famous artist Vincent Van Gogh. That's right, the same artist that our Redfish Vincent is named after. We'll be learning about the life of Vincent Van Gogh, looking at some of his artworks, mainly most of his expressive self-portraits, and then we'll be using what we learn to create our own self-portrait with rich textures and patterns in the style of Vincent Van Gogh. For today's drawing lesson, you'll need paper, a pencil with an eraser, and something to add color to your artwork. You can use colored pencils or crayons, markers or paint, whatever you have is just fine. Remember, if you need a minute to gather your supplies, or if you just want to watch a step in the video again, all you have to do is pause and rewind. Now, show me Mona Lisa and I'll know that you're ready to begin. I'll know that you're ready to create when I see you sitting up straight and tall, your eyes watching, your ears listening, your mouth closed into a quiet smile, and your hands resting neatly in your lap. Great, let's get started. Vincent Van Gogh was born a long time ago in 1853. He was a Dutch post-impressionist artist best known for his drawings and paintings. Some of his most famous artworks include The Sunflowers, The Starry Night, and his many self-portraits. Although Van Gogh is very well known today, he only sold one or two paintings during his lifetime, and his style of painting wasn't understood or accepted back then. It took the world many years to understand and accept Vincent Van Gogh's rich textures and expressive brush strokes. Now, his over 2,000 works of art are some of the most famous in the world. Let's look at some of his self-portraits. This self-portrait from 1889 shows Vincent with lots of blues. You can see he's wearing a blue jacket. You can see his reddish-orange beard and his hair. And he looks a little worried or even sad. Like I mentioned, Vincent Van Gogh did not have a very happy life while he was creating his art. He was often lonely, didn't have a lot of money for food or art supplies, and no one was really buying his art either. Maybe that's the reason he chose to make himself look a little worried or upset or even sad in this self-portrait. Look at the background. See all of the swirling, irregular lines that Van Gogh has included in the background? This helps to create a feeling of uneasiness or sadness in this self-portrait. In this self-portrait from 1887, Vincent Van Gogh's used different colors. You can also see he's wearing a yellow straw hat on his head. I like the way that Vincent Van Gogh has filled the background with short, small lines and dashes. You can even see these lines on the jacket that he's wearing in this picture as well. In this self-portrait from the same year, you can see Vincent Van Gogh staring right at us. He's wearing a different jacket here, and the background is filled up with mostly small dots and dashes. Now I've got all my supplies ready and I'm ready to get started drawing my own self-portrait just like Vincent Van Gogh. In Vincent Van Gogh's self-portraits, very rarely did he look straight ahead. Instead, he turned his face a little bit to one side. We call this three-quarter view or three-fourths view. I'm going to show you how to draw your own self-portrait in three-fourths view, just like Vincent Van Gogh. First, 
we're going to draw a small curved line for the top of our forehead. Then we'll draw another curved line that'll go down close to where our chin is and then back up for the other side of our head. This will help us know where to put the eyes and the nose and the mouth in our drawing. First, take your pencil and draw a small, short, curved line like this. This is going to be part of our forehead where our eye will be. Remember, our head's gonna be turned a little bit to one side. Now I'm gonna use another curved line just like the one I drew first, but this one will be a little bit bigger and longer. So I'll draw another curved line down. That will be close to where my chin is. And then back up to the other side. This small bump helps me know where to put my eyes. But first, I'm going to draw a very light dotted line down the middle of my face. This will help me know where to put my eyes and my nose and my mouth and get everything in my picture in the right spot. To draw our eyes, we're gonna use an oval shape called an ellipse. And to get the eye in the right place, my first ellipse is going to hang a little bit off the edge of my face, like this. Then that helps me know to put the other eye or the other ellipse on the other side of the dotted line. For my nose, I'm going to use a curved line and then a shape like an upside down number seven for the nose. That helps me to get the eyebrow in the correct spot. And then I can know where I can put my mouth. You can add in an ear, and then your neck, shoulders, and your hair. After you finish drawing your portrait, be sure to add some expressive lines, dots or dashes in your background, just like Vincent Van Gogh. Here's two different examples of self-portraits that I did earlier. You can see in one, I have myself looking off to the side with that three-fourths view, and I decided to add lots of lines and dashes in my background. In this one, I look a little bit happier, and I added lots of warm colors like pinks, oranges, and yellows in the background. For this one, I colored it with markers and then took a wet paintbrush on top of where I colored with my markers to kind of wake up that ink and turn it into paint. I hope that you've enjoyed creating with us and learning about Vincent Van Gogh today with Vincent, Henri, and Art with Miss C. I'd love to see pictures of your self-portraits. You can email them to me at vincent.henri.annemissc at gmail.com. I hope that you'll keep creating, keep learning new things, and spend more time with us again soon. Bye!